VA has been the subject of uh, scandals over the years, including in 2014 when uh, VA found that uh, staffers were manipulating wait lists to make it appear that veterans were not waiting as long as they were, and that led to the resignation of uh, Eric Shinseki, the VA secretary at the time. The news coming out of uh, VA recently was in, uh, coming from Salt Lake City when an Iraq veteran named Christopher Wilson uh, visited a facility in uh, Salt Lake City in early April for, uh, for an appointment on his ankle. But what he found was there was a, um, a host of issues with the, the room he was in. There were dirty medical instruments, um, there was trash that had not been taken out, and just general disarray in this room. The people who are there to serve us kind of see us as a hindrance more than anything. Uh, we don't seem to be a priority. The photos prompted uh, not only an investigation but an apology from the chief of staff that oversees uh, that medical center. Uh, and she vowed that you know she doesn't want to see another veteran in that kind of condition again. A veteran wants to go to VA uh, for numerous reasons. One, their cost might be subsidized. They might get free medical care because of a service-connected injury. But there's also a lot of specialty doctors and physicians and nurses that really have a, a wealth of knowledge about pretty specific and pretty unique injuries like amputations, traumatic brain injury. There were almost 60 million appointments in, in 2017 across VA, which means there was a lot of uh, opportunities for things to go wrong and they've mostly gone right. So uh, something like this can be seen as an outlier. You know, there doesn't seem to be a systemic issue with you know, the cleanliness of uh, VA facilities uh, and other things like that. Uh, but these opportunities, uh, well, uh, these incidents will also just crop up in a, in a system that large.